What's going on? Welcome to Unlocking Your Inner Strength. In these episodes, I share with you insights and inspirations that have come to me on my path in life, and hopefully they can be a welcome hand of guidance as you move along your journey. I teach because I'm passionate about my message. I teach because it helps me to learn more deeply. Thanks for sharing a few minutes of your time with me for this week's episode. And without further ado, here is this week's show. Hey everybody, here we go with episode 258. How I would get you fat for a movie role. I don't mind if I got some ash up on my forehead, trying to do some stuff with the fire pit, but I think I'm just making it worse, but whatever. Okay, so <clears throat> this weekend I, I was fortunate enough to be the best man at a wedding for my, my boy Jacques, Jacques Crusteau. And part of um, my my speech, what I started with, was we went out to the rehearsal dinner, the... Uh, obviously the night before the wedding, Friday. And I love doing hypotheticals or just asking trivia questions. So we're sitting down at the one end of the table and the girls are chatting. And I said, right, what's your favorite Stallone movie? And he says, Cobra. Now that was a shocker to me because I'd never seen it, never heard of it. I've seen most of Stallone's movies. So he asked me, what, what is my favorite Schwarzenegger movie? And I told him it was a movie called Raw Deal. Same thing, he'd never heard of it. Never knew that it existed. And I, I had to bring that up at the at, at the speech because that had to be the first time in the history of men that that's happened, where two buddies' favorite movie with those two action stars, neither one of us had heard of the other movie. So we're going to do a movie night and watch those two. And that kind of segues into all of the roles. If you look at uh, Stallone, Sly, that he's played, he's usually in shape. But there was a movie back in early 2000s called Copland where he was an out of shape North Jersey police officer and for the role he did not um, it wasn't like a fat suit that he was wearing he actually had got fat for the role and Stallone's one of the most disciplined people from all accounts that I read about that that uh, that exists I mean the guy's ultra disciplined so he got fat for that role pretty pretty cool movie a lot of famous people in it definitely worth to watch Again, that's called Copland. But something I did, I think I made a video last year at some point on this. I figured today what I would go over is if I had six months to get you ready for a movie role that you had signed on to, but you had to come in like 20 to 30 pounds more fat than you currently are, this is what I would do pretty much. And I want you to connect the dots so you can see how this is ties into mainstream fitness and, and the advice that's all often peddled to people to try to lose weight. So the very first thing, and, and then we'll go over something at the end, how to flip all this stuff, but the very first thing I would do is I would cut your sleep right out the gate. No more than six hours a night. Okay, I would cut, cap it at six hours a night. We could do less than that if we need to. And if I was able to, I'd wake you up at least once during the middle of the night to, to interrupt that sleep. Now, with that, I would not have you going to bed before midnight. Okay, the, the sleep you get before midnight is, is uh, according to different studies and, and sleep experts, each hour before midnight is equivalent to about three hours after midnight. It's very restorative, that, especially that sleep from 10 p.m. To, to, to midnight. So you cannot go to sleep before midnight and no more than six hours a night. And I'm trying to wake you up at least once throughout the night. So that's the first thing I would do. If I'm trying to put fat on you for your movie role. Next thing I would do, I would have you do small frequent meals. So I'd have you eat three square meals per day plus two to three snacks per day. So I'd have you eaten every, you know, you want to go more than two and a half hours without putting food in your mouth. I want constant insulin spikes. Okay. And, uh, and being that the uh, external food source would be your main energy source. I would also be cutting calories pretty hard. So I'd probably take your body weight and multiply it times eight just to give you a starting uh, guesstimate of where I would start if this were the case. So you'd be in a big calorie deficit. So we want to start slowing the metabolism with that and increasing your hunger hormones. 
So again, I got six weeks to do this, um, which is, is going to be tough. But what I would do is in that short of a period of time, trying to put on 20 to 30 pounds of fat, I would diet you like that very, very hard during, uh, during the week. And let's say every um, weekend I would give you one full day, okay, of an all-out cheat day. And then I'd dive right back into it. And the reason I would do that is you're not going to be in what's called super compensation mode yet, which is where you would actually need those cheat days. But driving your metabolism down and increasing your hunger hormones What's going to happen is we're programming the body to, to store excess fat when we have this surplus of calories, when we're really cutting calories hard. So that's what I would do. Uh, I would cut calories hard, small frequent meals and snacks, big calorie deficit in one all-out bonanza cheat day, okay, which I can explain maybe next week, the, the science behind actual cheat days and when you actually need them, uh, you know, physiologically or psychologically. So that's the second thing I would do. Third thing, I would have you be drinking as long as you didn't have, uh, you know, any any uh, issues with it. I'd have you be drinking, you know, three to four beers a day, you know, with your meals. Nothing crazy, but three to four meals a day. Beer, beer is excellent at spiking insulin. It's good at helping people bloat. Okay, and look, I like to have my beers, but you got to watch them. You know, if you're doing them every day, it's going to sneak up on you. So I would be having uh, beers three to four times a day. I would have a beer. And you could even do it in between meals. So we're never letting that insulin come down, which would be you know, good if we're trying to gain fat for this movie role. Um, I got two more, three more things I would do. I would keep your water intake low. I would, I would uh, not allow you to go above 32 to 40 ounces per day. And I would also keep your sodium levels low. Sodium is a key component to metabolism, energy, and digestion, feeling full, and it's actually how you hydrate. In, in keeping the water low but not completely cutting it out, right, because you could do dry fasting. That's a whole other podcast. That's a whole other episode, uh, which is more advanced uh, than regular water fasting. But if we keep water low, right, your body is not... Um, it's, it, when it's in a survival mode and it's stressed, it's much easier to pack on fat. So if, if we can if we can have cortisol, so we want to stress the body, okay, high and insulin high at the same time, which is usually hard to do if you're just going about normal everyday function, we, we're going to pack on fat. So think about somebody that went through a breakup and they're very, very stressed. Some people will go to eating and what happens is they balloon up, right? They balloon up and wait. Cortisol, by the way, can be used to either build or to, to burn, depending on, on um, what's what's causing it to, to rise. Now, when you're dehydrated, again, your body is not going to be focused on trying to use fat as energy. So in, we, we, we want to make it in, in this artificial circumstance, so it's packing on extra fat. So I keep sodium low, water low. And the last thing I would do is I would put you on an elliptical or a treadmill, something where it's almost like you're a human hamster or a human rat, something that's not very pleasurable to do. You know, if you're going to do that stuff, do it outside, get some sunlight. But I would have you do it like most people do it, where it's actually making you, uh, so it's not something you enjoy. But slow, long distance cardio, if you're using it for fat loss, is completely misapplied, but it actually helps you to, to, uh, become more efficient at storing body fat and utilizing body fat, which sounds good on the surface if you're more efficient at using fat. But what that means is you use less and less of it for your energy source because your body's getting more efficient at it. And I've said it a million times, exercise is, is pretty much useless for weight loss. It drives other habits. It makes you feel good in the brain. So in that way, indirectly, yes. But as far as this calorie game, let me cut calories and burn calories, completely useless. Um, and... You know, I'll stand by that till the day I die. So you got to remember, you always got to speak truth to people. Even even when you, you own a gym, you got to tell them the truth, right? It's a great thing to build muscle, feel good, get your get your heart going. 
drive those other habits that are going to lead to weight loss, but to use it to burn to try to lose weight is completely uh, nonsensical. So those are the things I would do to get you fat for a movie role in six weeks. If you had to gain 20 to 30 pounds of fat, that's exactly what I would do. I would cut out sleep. I would really disturb your sleep. No sleep before midnight. Uh, small frequent meals, big calorie deficit. Uh, beer. Okay, you'd be drinking beer every day. I'd keep your water low and your sodium low. And I'd have you sit on a, uh, your only exercise would be either uh, elliptical and or uh, a treadmill. You know, and, and you could see the sunlight outside, but you're trapped inside. So that, that's what I would do again, programming the body to store more fat and, and be less, uh, more efficient at using fat so you use less of it. And that's what I would do if the, the Hollywood stars came to me to get them ready for uh, a role like Stallone played in Copland way back 20 years ago. We had to get fat for that role. It would be tough, but six weeks, you could you could definitely put on some serious fat in somebody. So just use this to, to look at the advice or what you're currently doing in your life. And uh, maybe you got to reverse engineer some of this stuff or just use it to be aware of, man, maybe this isn't serving me the way I thought it was, if, if any of those things applies to you. So uh, the reason I started thinking of that, too, before I, I signed off here was uh, summer's coming up, right? So, okay, maybe I'll tighten up a little bit, uh, you know, for, for the upcoming pool parties. And, and the first thing I would do is start focusing on my sleep more. You know, like all bad habits, we all have them. Um, my bedtime is creeping later and later. Now, part of that is due because I was training people pretty late at the gym, which now my schedule is back to normal. But I, you start creeping, creeping, and you just don't feel right. But I, I, would, I would increase my sleep first if I wanted to drop a little extra body fat. So there you have it. If, if you would uh, please be so kind, hit the like button or the share button or leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, leave an emoji, something like that, or subscribe on iTunes. I appreciate it. You can get the Panda book at uh, kylenewell.com. Just go to the books tab and you'll see it. Or you can find it on Amazon. You all have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I will be back with more videos later in the week. You wrote for today's episode. I appreciate you and your time, truly. I'm humbled and honored if you made it to the, the end of this episode. Don't forget, you can go to kylenewell.com for your free ebook, written by yours truly, on getting started with fasting, infused with five mind map principles never before seen. This is something I have not given out to anybody else that'll help you see the light when it comes to your fasting journey and creating better health, both physically and internally. Remember, it's all about the mind, body, and spirit. Until next week, peace.